Hey there, and welcome to another screencast brought to you by The Coding Pad. My name is Mary, and in today's screencast, um, we're going to kind of deviate a little, and we're going to look at how to set up virtual hosts on your local um, development environment, and how to set up virtual domain names and all that good stuff. All right, um, I'm using, I'm on Windows, and I'm using um, Windows Vista to be specific. And for my local development environment, I'm using the WAMP server stack of Apache, PHP, and MySQL on Windows. Um, you might be using XAMP on Windows or Mac, or you might be using MAMP on uh, Mac OS X. Process is pretty much the same. The files might have slightly different names, but the process is pretty much the same. And I hope that this screencast will kind of get you started and give you an idea of what you need to do to configure virtual hosts on your local development environment. Now let's first start by um, looking at what I mean by virtual hosts. If I go down to, um, if I, you want to make sure of course that um, your server is loaded and ready to go. In my case, WAMP server is running. You can see that here. And if I open my www directory, I have WAMP server you can see installed in the default location, which is right at the root of C. Um, and I have it at C, WAMP, www, and this is where I save um, my websites that I'm creating. And right now I have two set up. I have uh, a Drupal 6 install that's kind of fresh, ready to go. And I have a my local site, which I just set up for the purpose of this tutorial. So if I was to go to, if I was to open my local hosts, so if I come here and I type, if I open my local host home folder, all right, so that loads the local host, uh, the WAMP server home page and under my projects if I click on Drupal 6 it's going to open up my Drupal website now if you look at the URL it's HTTP slash slash localhost slash Drupal 6 similarly if I went and opened my local site which like I said is just a simple page I set up for the purpose of this uh, screencast it says welcome to my local site and again the URL is pretty similar. It's localhost, my local site. Now, what I mean, what we mean when we say setting up virtual hosts is that I want to be able to kind of navigate my sites the way I would navigate a website online, all right? Not by saying localhost slash my local site, but rather I'd like to be able to type directly my local, oops, my local site, and I'd like my page to open. But as you can see, it doesn't open. Instead, it says, oops, this link appears to be broken. DNS error cannot find server. If Similarly, if I was to type here, if I wanted to navigate to my Drupal 6 site and I typed Drupal 6, I get the exact same error. So this is what we want to do. We want to set things up so that we don't get this error, but that typing that directly opens up the website. Now, this is a two-step process. The first involves modifying something on the OS side of things, in my case, on the Windows side of things. And the second step is modifying something on the web server side of things or on the Apache side of things. And those are the two steps that we need to do. All right, so let's start by modifying things on the Windows side. Um, and to do that, I need to navigate to my computer, open my um, Windows folder right there. And I want to go down to System32 and then go to Drivers. All right, so I have that open to drivers, and then I want etc. And this is the file that I want to modify. It's the hosts file. Um, so if I open that, I'm going to edit it with Notepad. If you look down here, this is the sample hosts file used by Microsoft TCP IP for Windows. You're going to have to find out what the equivalent is for your Mac setup or your Linux setup. And down here, you can see that this is your local IP. It's pretty standard. It maps to local host. So I want to replicate that and I want it to map fast. I want to map to Drupal 6, and I also want it to map to, I believe it's called my local site. And I'm gonna save that and you'll see that it won't let me save. And this is a Vista thing, and it might also be the same thing in Windows 7, I'm not 100% sure, but it has to do with permissions and how Windows sets up and restricts permissions depending on your, your um, whether you're a user or your system admin. Uh, it's security settings. So I need to modify the security settings to allow the current user to edit this file. So I go to the hosts file, I right click and go to properties, security, and I'm going to edit my security settings. Go to users, and I want to give my users complete access, full control to modify and write this file. 
And after you're done, you can always go back and change the permission so that the file can't be edited. All right, so that's done. And I now should be able to save my changes. All right, so that's done. Excellent. So I'm going to close that. So I've done things on the Windows side of things, so I'm good to go on that end. And if I come back now and I type, I just want to make sure that nothing's broken. Localhost still opens just fine. 